Okay then, in the last lesson we made this web form to create new books and it all works, but we're skipping out something quite important, validation. Now, as a general rule, we shouldn't ever trust the value that a user submits and we should always validate them to make sure they're the correct kind of input value. For example, right now, a user could enter a number down here like 500 and as a rating out of 10, that doesn't make much sense. So in this lesson, we're going to look at how to validate the data in a live wire component after the form gets submitted. And then we can show some error feedback to the user if the validation fails. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that we can validate the input data inside a component. And the first way is actually very similar, if not identical to the way we'd validate input inside a standard Laravel control action. And that's by using the validate method and passing in an array of validation rules, one for each input field. So let's do this inside the save function by first of all saying dollar sign this, and then we're going to use the validate method directly on this class, which we get access to in Livewire. And then inside this validate method, we pass an array as the argument. So inside this array is where we define the validation rules for each input field and the key names for each field should match the property name that value is stored in. So title, author and rating in this case. So let's start with the title field. So the key should be title and then the value should be a string of pipe separated validation criteria. For example, I'm going to say that this needs to be a string. Okay. Then we do a pipe and then we'll say it's also required followed by another pipe. Then I'm going to say that the min length should be three characters long followed by another pipe. And then finally the max length should be 50. So these are the validation rules for this title input field. And if any of those don't pass, then Livewire is going to re-render the page, but also send a title error, which we can output in the template. And we'll do that later on. For now, let's move on to the next field, which is for the author. So the key name is author. And the validation rules for the author are going to be the same ones as for the title. So I'll just copy all of those and paste them in down here. Okay, so finally we need rules for the rating field. So let's add those in as well. This time the key is called rating. And for the validation, we're gonna say that it needs to be this time an integer, then a pipe. We're also gonna say it's required like the other fields, then another pipe. And then we'll say the min value should be one, followed by another pipe. And finally, we're gonna say that the max value should be 10. So the number is between one and 10 in this case. All right, so now we have all the validation rules in place and this validation method will check all the property values against these rules before it tries to create the new book record. And if any of the rules fail, then Livewire is gonna stop right there without creating a new book. And instead it's gonna re-render the page and give us access to an error message for each field so we can output them in the template. So let's go and conditionally output those errors inside this create book template. Now. What I'd like to do is output an error for each field conditionally if there is one. And the way we can do that is by using the blade directive at error. So what this does is check for an error on each field. So the title in this case, and then we say end error at the bottom. Now, if we have an error, then it will output this bit of template and we get access to the error message inside this by using this message property. And this message is unique to this particular input error for the title. So now what we can do is just copy this and paste it down here and we're going to change this to author and these by the way they match up to whatever the model is and more importantly whatever this thing is here the title the author the rating these things right. So let us now output the final one which is going to be for the rating like so and now we can try this in a browser. All right, so now if we try to enter in some fields which aren't valid, like a single character in both of these cases, and then a number out of bounds for the rating, try to add the book, then we get three error fields back. The title field must be at least three characters, same for the auth field, and the rating field must be not greater than 10. All right, so let's change this to something like minus one, and we'll say ABC, so these are three characters, whatever, add book. These two should go away because we have at least three characters, but this one is still out of bounds. We should get a slightly different error message though. So press that and it says the rating field must be at least one. All right, let's give this book a one then. Add the book and now it works. Awesome. All right, so we've validated the input fields now, which is good, but I also want to show you another way that we can do this in Livewire, which I actually prefer. And that is to use a rule 
attribute built into LiveWire above each property that we define up here. And then we define those validation rules within that rule attribute. So let me show you how to do this. First of all, we come to the title property. And above this, we need to use a PHP attribute, much like we saw before when we looked at a component specific layout. We used a layout attribute, didn't we? So this time the attribute we need to use is one called rule, which is built into LiveWire. So let's use that. And then inside parentheses, we can just pass in the same string of validation rules for this field. So I'm going to copy those from down here inside the validate method, and then I'm just going to paste them inside the parentheses. And that's all there is to it. Now we're co-locating the property and the property rules together in the same place, which is why I prefer this approach. And now we need to do the same thing for each other property. So let's come down to the auth one and we're going to use the same rule attribute for this as well. And again, all we need to do is paste in those same rules because the title and author rules are no different from each other. They're identical. And then finally, we can do the same thing for the rating property down here. We need to use the rule attribute again, and we can copy the rules from down inside the validate function, and we're going to paste them in up here. So now all of the property rules are defined directly above each property definition. Okay. So what now then, how do we use those rules when it comes to actually validating the data? Well, we still need to use the validate method down here, but we don't need to pass in the array of different rules to validate with because now they're all defined elsewhere above the properties themselves. And when we use this validate method without any arguments, LiveWire is going to validate each property using the rules defined above each property up here. So it's still going to do exactly the same thing, but now I think the way in which properties and rules are defined together in one location makes more sense. You might prefer the other way. Also, I think it makes the logic inside the save function, the save method, much cleaner as well, because we remove all of that validation from here. Anyway, let's try this out in a browser just to make sure it still works. So again, I'm going to add something in that isn't valid like this and click on add book. Yeah, we still get those validation rules. Let's update these to something which is valid, add the book, and it all works. Awesome. 